Hey, 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 Cindy Lou here with my how to's creating graphics with you. And today I'm going to share with you what I look for when I take a photo to put text on it. Sometimes I'm walking down the street and I will come across an amazing picture. And I think it is perfect. Um, the framing and what I see through my eyes is framed just as this one that I'm showing you as an example here is. I saw this, I was walking by and I looked up and saw the blue sky and I could immediately see the upper third there kind of corner, triangular corner there on the left would be a perfect place to put some text. And the, the picture itself was just so stunning with the bright blue sky and the very beautiful pinks. So I have already gone through and done this. So I'm just going to um, put these on here one at a time. So I went and found a font that I liked and we type this in and then I had to reshape it and move it around a bit and then I made it a color I could see. See if my spelling's right. Lift up, lift your eyes towards heaven for whence comes your help. You know sometimes we're really struggling and we just need to be able to look to heaven to find strength. At least that's what I do. You can, you, other people may do something different, but that's where I find my strength often is in the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So I have here, I'm putting <clears throat> glory to God in the highest. Amen. Because that is my declaration as I lift my eyes up towards heaven. How fun is that? So I have now put this text on here. And I am ready to save it. And you see how I wrapped it right around and used the shape of the um, plants to help guide where I was going to put the words. So that's what you can do. And it just makes it really pop out. And it's a very um, stunning way or striking way to be able to share a beautiful picture and also share a inspiring, helpful, and uplifting message. So I want you to be able to create your own graphics to start seeing the world through eyes where you would put something for your text and how it would go on there. And everybody's going to have a different style as to the type of text that they want to have. But this at least gives you an idea of where you can go. And I want to empower you to create your own graphics, to take your own photos, and make yourself um, some strength there. And I'm going to add one more thing, which is my at Cindy Lou Miller. And then I add a dot, and that's CindyLou.com. Go ahead and stretch this out. So. Yep, stretching it out, putting it in the middle, changing it to white because I'm going to put it all the way at the bottom. Oops, too white. Thank you. And then bringing it on down where I think it will show up. Well, it doesn't show up totally great. So what I'm going to do is go in and just add an effects on there. Um, the effects I'm going to add is a drop shadow. And I'm going to make it a bit more intense and a little wider. So you see that just then shows right up. Yeah, kind of play with it a little till you find something you really like. You can read that pretty clearly. And then that's all ready now for me to go ahead and save to my desktop and save it. Oops, I want to put it not in downloads. I want to go to my contents. Oh, social media post December 2017. I've got them all in there. So I know when I made it, I can go back and use it. Alrighty, there you have episode five of Cindy Lou's How To's Creating Graphics With You. Love to hear what you'd like to see 
Um, I do have a request for how to do a logo with a transparent background that you can use in different areas. So I think that will be episode six. Alrighty. Hope you're having a great night and I shall talk to you soon. Oh wait, I might be on episode four and that's going to be five. Anyway, you'll figure it out because it'll be there. So have a great night and I'll talk with you later.